are white oak trees shedding bark. It's quite a bit of bark this year. The leaves look fine, but there's bark underneath the shedding. Should I be worried? One of the issues is it could be hypoxylin canker. This is a fungus. It is a disease that's on the inner bark of the tree and the sapwood. And so when it gets into that area, it has a tendency to work with the xylem and the phloem. So the xylem is going to be the water transportation system of plants. And so a fungus gets in there and then the water flow within that tree is very limited. And then some of the symptoms that you'll see is thinning of the crown of the tree. The top of the tree looks like it's starting to thin out. You might have some leaf browning, so be on the lookout for that. Branches will die back. Large areas of the bark have a tendency to fall off. They just kind of slough off. And so this is what the disease looks like as far as symptoms are concerned. There really is no treatment and eventually the tree is going to die, unfortunately. So knowing what the disease is as a fungus, knowing that it affects the inner bark and the sapwood, knowing that it crowns the top, leaves have a tendency to brown, not all of them, branches die back and they fall off, and areas of the trunk of the tree, the bark is gonna slough off. So what does that really look like? So you'll see areas of the bark on the outside of the tree actually will start coming off. You'll see this browning area here, that is the fungus as it starts out new. Over time, that fungus actually turns into this gray looking area, almost a whitish gray looking area. And even after more time, this gray area then becomes more like it's painted on. So it's there and, and it kind of shows that it's smooth looking. And you can actually see in the background, the leaves look like they're still green, but the leaves on this particular tree looks like they're starting to brown out. You'll also notice that the canker is up on the branches as well for this particular disease. A second potential disease of what this could be is what we call white patch. It could also be called smooth patch, bark patch, or bark rot, but it's most commonly known as white patch here in the state of Missouri. It too is a fungus. It also affects the bark, but it's restricted to the outer portions of the bark. It only affects the bark itself. Doesn't have anything to do with the inner portions of the tree, which is very fortunate for those trees. So some of the symptoms that you'll see is that the outer bark will actually start to slough off, leaving a very smooth, almost a depressed area, which kind of looks a little bit sunken in. The areas where this happens are gonna be irregular in shape and irregular in size. They can grow a little bit over time. So don't be upset if you start seeing more and more areas that look a little gray or white on the trunk of the tree. Actually, no treatment is needed at this particular time. This is a fungus that only affects the outside of the tree, so there will not be any damage to the inside of the tree. The rest of the tree should remain healthy. But you do need to take note that this is a symptom of something that is starting to happen in the tree, so you need to make sure that you try to water and fertilize your trees really well, if at all possible, if it's in your yard setting. And you wanna be careful not to damage the bark in any additional fashion, if at all possible, because if you do, this white patch is, like I said, is only on the outside of the tree, but if you do damage to the bark, if you run your lawnmower into it, those different sorts of situations are actually causing a cut beyond just that bark and then other diseases can actually get in. So what does white patch actually look like? And this almost looks like a whitening of the actual bark. You can see how it's irregular shaped, depending upon where it is on this tree, this tree in the background as well, and then the tree on the right. This, it looks like it's only at the base. This, it looks like it's at the base, but also moving up the top. It also has a tendency to move vertically up and down the tree rather than going around the tree. And again, this particular white patch is not going to be detrimental to the tree. Just be careful with it so there's no continuous damage that's going to be done, especially to the areas where the white patch is, because this is a bark. It's kind of like the inner bark, but the inner bark is going to be much thinner than if there was any damage taking place at the top up here where the outer bark is still taking place. 